Hi folks, I'm Nathan Two Guys and Ride, and welcome to our how-to video on the 2021 Dodge Ram 1500 pickup, and this is the limited trim level. Today I'll be covering the driver's information screen. I'll do a general overview, show you how to access information, and do a deep dive. Let's get started. Today we're working with our friends at Luther Mankato Honda in Mankato, Minnesota. Um, this is a really nice dash uh, in here, and there's so many ways to customize it. So, um, to start with, you know, over on the left, you have, of course, uh, got an um, analog RPM gauge, you got a DEF gauge because it's diesel. On the far right, you have got your uh, speedometer with miles per hour on the outside, kilometers on the inside. Uh, you got some dummy lights that will show up in that area, and then, of course, your fuel gauge. Now, uh, over in the middle of the screen is the um, digital screen. It's like seven inches measured diagonally, but it's really, everything you see is customizable. Everything. So, to do that, you're going to use the four cursor arrows and the OK button on the far left side of the steering wheel. Um, now, before I continue, in case you're wondering about the infotainment screen on this, because that's also fantastic, we're cutting a separate video uh, just on the infotainment screen on this vehicle. All right, so back to the driver's information screen. If I use my up arrow, you can see these numbers I'm scrolling through, and you're going to notice I have a total of nine pages, and then it goes back to one. These, pay, these are like main menu items, and sometimes uh, whatever shows up, you have multiple screens you can go through. You just have to look at the bottom, and then you'll see a little uh, blue dash with two arrows on the side. Uh, so the first screen we have is just speed, and that's just going to uh, do your miles per hour. However, if you want kilometers per hour, just click your OK button once, and it goes to kilometers, click it again, and it's miles per hour. And again, that's a quick click. All right, I'm going to go down again. Vehicle info. Now, here we have a whole bunch of pages. So I'm actually going to click the arrow and start on this side. But you've got uh, your tire pressure here. You have got uh, air um, aerodynamics and air suspension right here. Coolant temp, transmission temp, oil temp, oil pressure, oil life, which you can press and hold OK to reset it, battery voltage, a gauge summary, which then gives you the coolant temp, the transmission temp, oil temp, and oil pressure uh, all at the same time. And the last one gives you engine hours. You get it for idle, drive, and total. All right, now I'm going to use this down arrow, and I go to page three, which is off-road. Now, in this one, you get pitch and roll, and in this one, you, of course, get the drivetrain on the left, and then you've got your steering angle on the right. So if I carefully move my wheel without bumping the cameras, you can see the degree change just a little bit. I'm going to go down arrow again because that was the only two screens on this page. Driver assist. All right, so right now my adaptive cruise control is on, and those buttons are on the far right side of the steering wheel. But if I, uh, if I turn them off, then this is the message it gives you. Simply turn it on, and then the car appears. You can use the gap setting buttons. Um, you know, to, to, to make your changes for how close or far behind a car you want to travel with cruise control on. All right, I am going to click down again. Fuel economy, we've got a, two, two uh, pictures here. So this first one here just shows you your, mile, your range that you have left and your average miles per gallon. The first picture shows that same information, plus at the top right it adds the current miles per gallon. And that's all that's in these two uh, pictures here. So, on to number six, trip info. You've got trip A, trip B. You can press and hold OK on those screens to reset either one of them. I'm going to go down again, audio. Now, um, to control the audio, you're going to use the typical uh, Dodge, um, Jeep, Chrysler controls on the back side of the steering wheel. So, on each side of the steering wheel, you have got three buttons. Two of them are like toggles, an up and a down, and then in between those two is a push button. So 
Uh, to change sources, you're going to use the button on the far right hand side of the steering wheel. And you can see I can toggle between FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth, of course, and then AM. And if I had Apple CarPlay running, that would be one of my choices. Now, you want to change the volume, you use the up and down buttons on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. And if you want to change uh, stations, you use the buttons, uh, up and down buttons on the far left. Um, outside the steering wheel. Uh, the center button on the left side of the steering wheel changes between your presets. And it's kind of a little slow, slow on the screen here, but you can see them changing. There we go. Okay, that's audio. So now I'm going to go down one more screen. Here's where you get messages. Screen setup. All right, this is the last screen, and so I need to press OK to enter this. And I want to start with the favorite menus. The favorite menus are the numbers one through nine, those pages that we were going through. Here's where you can remove some. You cannot remove all of them. But if I go in here, anything with a check mark, you can replace or say don't show. So basically, I could choose, choose to turn off off road driver assist, fuel economy, trip info, audio, and I think that's about it. So if you want to see what that looks like, I go back to the left here, back to the left again, and now you see I only have four screens. So I've, I've gotten rid of a bunch of those pages. Of course, I like having those things on, so I'm going to go back here and I will just click OK next to each one, and then they're all back on. All right, so that's one way to customize it. I'm going to hit the back arrow. All right, let's go to the center. All right, center would be right in the middle on the top. So if I go there, I can do average economy, current economy, Trip A, Trip B, Audio, Menu Title, Speedometer. So you can, that's kind of nice, you can put your digital speedometer right up there. Or you can select nothing. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave Audio right there because I like seeing that all the time. And I just click OK. All right, now I'm going to go down one and I have the upper left where the compass is. Now, on the far right, you've also got an outdoor temperature. Both of both those uh, windows have the same options. So compass, outside temp, time, range to empty, average econ, current econ, trip A, trip B, oil pressure, oil temp, battery voltage. Ooh, nice gauge right there. Transmission temperature, coolant temperature, oil life, or none. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go back up to these gauges here. And I'm going to say, let's put oil pressure on that one. And then I'm going to go to the upper right, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I, over there, I selected oil pressure. So on this one, I'm going to do oil uh, temperature. All right. Now I'm going to go to the lower left. The lower left is where you see the battery gauge currently. So I'm going to leave that as the battery gauge, okay? And I'm just going to press the back row to exit. I'm going to go to the lower right where you see uh, oil pressure right now. And I'm going to actually change that. Let's see. To coolant temp. Okay, so now I've got all four windows showing a different type of gauge. So, I mean, that, and then you, and you can customize into any of those other things in the list as well. Okay, you can always go and say, I want to just to go back to defaults. You just click OK, hit restore, and everything goes back to where it was. Now, when it says left side and right side, it's referring to these bars where it says like 184 on the right shows you a gear symbol on the left. Now you can customize those. So let's start with the left side. And you do get the same choices for each side. So, I can have the menu icon, nothing, range to empty, average econ, oil temperature, transmission temperature, coolant temperature, oil life, or again, back to menu icon. 
And then if I go over here to the right side, I have the same options. So, I mean, it's just so customizable. It's really, really nice. All right, I'm gonna leave this one on range to empty. Got a couple more on here. So if I go to current gear, right now, I'm okay, I'll press okay first. And you notice that I have it selected as off. So if I take the transmission, and I switch it to drive. Okay, that's what you see. However, if I turn on current gear view, okay, now I go to drive and you see I'm in first gear. So you got drive and the number one and it will show you the gears as you shift through. That's the difference there, okay? Uh, down below that, you've got the odometer. You have two options for your odometer. You can have it with no decimals or you can have it with one decimal, all right? So we'll leave that one there. Uh, and then we're, then we're back to our favorites. So that's the driver's information screen, super customizable, extremely nice. I really, really like how they've laid that out. Don't forget, we've got another video on the infotainment screen on the 2021 Dodge Ram 1500 and the limited trim level. Uh, so if you wanna see that, check that out as well. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.